All right, here's a final version of the Raptor prosthetic hand. I made a couple of accommodations here, a little changes. The original design had Kevlar fishing line tied up here, but I was too lame to tie it off consistently, and I had a real problem getting the tension right across all the tendons here. The tendons are what hold the hand closed. They attached, they attach on the other side here. And so what I use is a, um, and I got this idea from someone on uh, the Enable uh, Google Plus site, is a eight millimeter vinyl coated uh, steel wire. And it's crimped, so it's very easy to pull through. And now um, the, the action is, let's see if I can get it this way. You can see it pulls it. The action is real nice there. And it's so it's so much faster to put on. This took me maybe about 15, 20 minutes to put the ollies on. I think I spent about an hour or two trying to put the Kevlar fishing line, tie it, retie it, cut off, and do it again. So this is all complete with the uh, fingertip grip section. Uh, did some adjustment here. So now that when you close, sorry, I'm trying to film this here sometime. The action is real nice. I think these cables are going to be a lot stronger for um, the person wearing a hand and easier to adjust here. So that's uh, a finished uh, Raptor uh, prosthetic hand printed on a Delta 3D printer, a Delta maker. Um, and uh, Ray sent us off to e-enable and then we'll get some of these out to kids and other people that need some.